hello, it's me again. I get message after message after message. My phone's going to blow up. As most of you know, my Irish phone uh, doesn't work out here, but thank God for Wi-Fi. Stephen woke up this morning, which I was absolutely delighted with. But um, I'm going to cancel. Rosemary Bates praying. Thanks everyone for the prayers. <sighs> He's sedated again, but I'm happy he's sedated because he was in too much pain when he was awake. He was in desperate pain. So automatically being a mum, I blamed myself. I said it was my fault because I took him out on the plane. It was the altitude or something. But they done a scan. Cancer's back, full-blown tumour. And But if we had been in Ireland last night, there's no way Stephen would have made it. He went into a massive seizure. Seizure. I don't even know where I got the strength to pick him up. He went into the bathroom. He looked up as if he went to change a light bulb. And I caught him under the arms because I thought you ain't banging your head. Because if you bang your head, you're dead. Because you've got a shunt in your head. And you've got a scar from the front to the back. So there ain't no way you're hitting that toilet or that sink. I yanked him in under the armpits. And I lifted him out. And I got the front door of the, of the hotel open. And screamed for help. Within seven minutes, we had an ambulance. A minute later, which was eight minutes, Stephen took another massive seizure. There's more doctors coming again. But Stephen's sedated now and he isn't in any pain. And as shit as it seems, because we're so far away, we have to take the positive out of it. We're in the best place and whatever will be, will be. And as I'm not in Bowman car park begging to get in, back and ringing newspapers and TVs and everything. I'm here. It ain't no palace, but we're together. I've got a chair and a footstool. So everybody back home, stop worrying about me. Once we're together, we're okay. There's a canteen downstairs whenever we want food. There's some lovely Irish lady coming with a phone from the GA, from the Texas community. People are absolutely wonderful i can't ask for any more but please don't think i've been rude by not answering text messages my whatsapp my snapchat from the young ones everything's just bombarded and stephen has no phone with him as you can imagine we rushed out in the ambulance last night phones was the last thing it's a wonder i even had mine a fair play to them here they give me a charger and all but keep your prayers i believe your prayers got stephen through the 19 and a half i was so true. And I believe Stephen's going to get through this too, all because of your prayers. <sighs> Thank you, love us. Keep up the prayers. <laughs> he needs them. <laughs>